All radio link flight controllers are done with automation software testing before being packed for quality control purposes. In this video, I am going to show you how the radio link team does this test for the flight controller crossflight as an example. This is the flight controller crossflight. This is the automation software testing tool. And this is the automation testing software with all the test items displayed. We are going to test all the functions including all the pins, connectors, and sensors to check if the flight controller can work normally or not. Now, connect all the wires from the test tool to the crossflight. Then activate the crossflight. Click the test on the automation software. When the green bar moves to the end and there is a pass display on the software, it means that the quality of this flight controller is passed. Then let us simulate a situation with the GPS part is disconnected. Reboot the software and wait a little bit until the crossflight is reactivated. Click the test again. We can see that the word failed displayed on the software means the quality of this flight controller does not pass the test because we disconnected the GPS and the GPS part does not function. 